really makes you believe that there's hope. Cannabis was prohibited alongside opium and other narcotics in 1923 here in Canada. This is an immense moment in history. Many of the activists and patients that have been pushing for this were sort of banding together to make sure that we do this right and we lead the way. world of disruptors, people who want to change the world, people who want to be a part of something that is bigger than themselves. If we want to create a new culture around cannabis, we need to start with education. And the way you start with education is bringing people together. I build awareness about the medical cannabis program here in Canada. As cliche as it sounds these days, I, I really just want to improve the lives of, of my community. When I go into a room and they're listening to a presenter speak on medical cannabis for the first time, just by being in that room and saying hello to them, I sort of shatter kind of their predisposed opinions around who someone in the cannabis world is, who a medical consumer is. There's something really fulfilling about being a trailblazer committed to achieving what many people thought were impossible. humans have been cultivating for thousands of years. This past fall, we just completed our biggest harvest to date. There are teams dedicated to each part of the harvest. Every step of the process has checks and balances. It was really awesome to see a spectrum of different cannabis profiles and cannabinoid profiles emerge from that site. High CBD strains, mid-range, THC strains with equal parts CBD, and then also high THC varieties. This has been a social movement from the beginning. It's been a movement that has focused around human rights and community building. A lot of times people think that cannabis reform will make our communities less safe. If you look at the alternative, which is an illicit market with illicit growers and dealers, they don't have to abide by any rules. When you lay that out for them, they start to understand that, you know, having a regulated market is, is a better alternative. It's so rewarding to be able to give them an option, be able to give them the education around using cannabis as medicine, you know, hoping that it's, it's something that will work for them. I want to make sure that my time here is, is as impactful as possible.